Hi, this is Darren Lyle. One of the things we didn't do when we were rigging the character was create an eye control here. And with this, you can move it around and have the eyes track the control. What I've done here as well is also parented it to the master control of the character so that when you move that, it moves along with everything else. Another nice thing about this is you can, when you select the head control and animate it, you get a nice effect as the eyes stay focused on the control. So let's take a look at how we would set this up. To create an eye control, we first need to duplicate a bone to create it. So let's just duplicate the head bone. I'm going to select um, one of the bones here in pose mode and uh, go back to object mode and then go into edit mode so we can actually see the original shape of the bones. I'm going to also go over here to the object display and let's turn on x-ray so we can see all the bones in the character. Um, I think I just want to duplicate this bone and use it for the eye control. So I'll select it and press Shift D and then I'll move it straight out away from the head here. I'll press the N key to bring up the properties panel and in here I'll rename this to uh, eyes CTRL. Now I want to resize this. I want to scale this down a bit. And the trick, or one of the tricks for this, which I think is kind of cool, is that we can assign each eye to either the base or the tip of the bone. So we can assign one eye to the base and one eye to the tip. So what I'm going to do is rotate this 90 degrees. I'll rotate it around the Y, so I'll press R and then the Y axis and then type in 90 to rotate that. And then I'll go to the front view and I'll line it up with the character's eyes here. So I'm going to bring it down and maybe scale it in some. Okay, so now that I have that lined up, what I need to do is apply a constraint to each of the eyes to track that eye control here. So I'm going to go back to pose mode here. So when I duplicated the head bone, the custom shape of the head came along. So we can get rid of that by coming over here to the bone panel. And under custom shape here, I can remove that head shape. We can apply our own custom shape, and we'll do that here in a bit. So now what I want to do is select one of the eyes. So I'll select the eye right. And I'll come over here to the constraints panel and add a constraint and we'll use the track two. Now here we want to choose a target, which will be the armature. And we also want to choose a bone. We'll use eyes control. And it looks as if the eye is almost completely backwards now. So that's not going to work. We need to figure out which way we want our axis to be, what the up axis should be, and which way it needs to point. I'm going to go into wireframe here, and I want to go into the object panel, and I think I'll display the axes. And so we can see here that the Z faces up, the Y faces back. So we go back to our constraints panel, we can now say that since the Y is facing back or away, that'll be the negative Y, and the up is going to be the Z. I'm going to once again choose the armature and the eyes control, and there we go. So now it's pointing in the right direction. 
I'm going to choose that bone now and hit the G key and move it around and you can see the eye follow along. All right, there's one of them. Let's do the other one. So I'll select the other eye and choose a track to constraint. Choose the armature, the eyes control bone, and the negative Y. And that's good, but look how this one eye is a little off. That's because it's also pointing toward the head here. And what I'd like it to do is point toward the tail. And that's what this slider will do for us. We can just drag the slider and now that eye will track to the tail. So now we don't have a problem with uh, cross eyes. Even if we get this bone very close to the character, it still won't cross his eyes. So now that we have the eyes following the bone, let's work on creating a custom shape for the bone. So to create a custom shape, I think I need to go to a new layer here. So I have a clean slate. And I'm going to go to my uh, top view, my top orthographic view. And here I think I'll just create a circle. Um, I don't need 32 vertices here. Maybe I'll just use 12. And all I'll do here is go into edit mode and choose these two vertices, turn on proportional editing here. So it's kind of the shape of an eye kind of thing. And then I'll also add another circle in the center here. There we go. So it's kind of a an eye type thing. So we know that it's an eye control. And then I'll select these two and press Control J to make them all one object. And in the outliner, I'll call this um, Eyes Control Shape. Okay, so now if I bring back my character here, I have that Eyes Control Shape now. And I can select the bone here. I'm going to go back to Pose Mode. Select the eyes control bone, go to my bone panel over here, and in the custom shape field, I'll choose eyes control shape. And there it is. Not exactly sized and positioned the way we would want, uh, but I think we can fix this fairly easily without using the orient shape script here. I'm just going to select that shape object and go into edit mode, select all the vertices of that object, and I'll just rotate it in the Z. Looks like I can rotate it in the Z 90 degrees. So maybe I'll just type, type in RZ90 and hit enter. And it also looks like I can scale it down some. Doesn't need to be quite that big. So I'll scale the shape down in edit mode here. I'm just scaling the vertices, all of them down in edit mode. There we go. And it looks like it's centered not quite in the right place. So I just need to move it in the Y axis. So I'm gonna to go to the front view and I'll type G and Y, and then I'll move my mouse until I can get this centered up pretty well, like so. So now I have an eyes control that I can move around in the scene and have the eyes follow. I can also move the head and the eyes will stay focused on that control, which is kind of cool. Now if I take uh, one of these bones here 
and I rotate this, notice that the eye control kind of moves up and down with it. What we can do is we can come back to edit mode here and we could parent this bone to the master control down here. So I'm going to select the eye control, shift select that master control down at the root or the base of the character, press control P and make parent and keep offset. And now that's parented to the master control. So let's take a look at if there's a difference here. Now we select one of these and rotate it and that eye control stays in place. So it really depends on what you want to accomplish with um, the eye control. I kind of like having it parented to the to the master control rather than the root of the head bone. Well, the last thing we should do is just make sure here in the properties panel that we only have the transforms enabled that we need enabled. So we don't really need to rotate this control ever. So I'm just going to lock these controls here for the rotation. Now we can only move the control and won't have to deal with accidentally scaling or, or rotating it. So there you are, an eye control for the character. With that, the rig should be pretty much done. What I'd like to do in the upcoming videos is begin working on uh, shape keys for the character's face. So we can create um, facial expressions and phonemes for lip sync. So I hope to see you then. If this has been helpful, please hit the like button. Check out my YouTube video for more Blender videos. And please subscribe for weekly updates. Thanks for watching. Take care.